Hi, it's Risa and Kevin from Hudson Valley Vintage, and it's date night with Pink Couture. We're here with you every Wednesday night at 7.30, and tonight we're going to work on a couple of different projects. We have two, actually. Um, this little bench that I just painted in Peacock, and this little end table that I painted in Grateful Dead. Speaking of Peacock, the seats got a peacock you know yeah yep. we found so. this really fantastic fabric i actually painted it in peacock first and then i remembered that we had this fabric and kevin reupholstered it last night so this piece is going to sort of be the inspiration for what we're doing tonight so i'm going to put this out of the way because i don't want to get any paint on it okay so um I painted this with Peacock, one coat, and I, I always do light coats. Light coats of paint are always more stable and better than thick coats. So you're much better off applying two or even three thin coats of paint rather than one thick coat of paint. So after I painted the coat of paint, you know, my I was gonna do another coat, but. I noticed that the wood showing through was just looking so beautiful that I really started to fall in love with the way it looks. And I want to enhance that. And we're going to do that tonight with metallics and with some glaze. I pulled out two um, metallics that we're going to use tonight. I have rich gold and I have copper couture. Okay, so that's the rich gold and that's the copper. Now I did not open these already today, so I'm gonna stir them, because with the metallics, you really wanna stir them. All right, so I've got a couple of brushes. I picked out kind of like some old cruddy crafting brushes, and I have a stencil brush, and I have a couple of these uh, blue ice brushes. I like, I picked these out because they're not cruddy, they're new, but they have a very stiff bristle. And I have a rag, and that's it. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna go over these areas over here where the wood is showing and just put a little bit of metallic. And I'm talking about very little. I'm just kind of bringing out what what already is showing through. I'm using just about as much as I would use for a dry brush. Now I'm gonna put a little copper. I barely have anything on my brush and I'm still gonna dab it off a little bit. And I'm gonna put the copper where it looks a little reddish. And we are gonna glaze this. It's not going to be... As stark as that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go in here a little bit. Now, I'm actually kind of glad that happened because when I was practicing this, that happened. So what I'm going to do now is go back with my peacock, which is the color that we painted with this. Talk about a lid that's a mess. This is like, this lid is insane. I'm gonna dip my brush in the peacock and I can just kind of go over it just a little bit. And that's really more of what I wanted anyway. So I'm just just the tiniest bit. And again, just use your finger to rub over it if you feel like you did too much. Okay. Just gonna put this here. I'm actually ending up using just one brush. Um, it seems 
it's a really raggedy brush and it seems to be working pretty well. So I'm just going to highlight some of this with my raggedy brush and, and doing some dry brushing as well with it. And this is just meant to be a teeny bit. I mean, obviously you could do it as much as you, you know, as much or as little as you want. But for me, I'm just looking for highlights. Yeah. Sort of random, just like the wood is showing through randomly, you know, after I painted it. Now, because this is an older piece, it's an antique. And because I'm getting sort of a rustic look, I don't want to just put a line of metallic like across here. That's not going to achieve what I'm trying to do. I think I have just about enough. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'm going to actually let this complete. I mean, I'm sure that the metallics are dry, but I'm going to give them a couple of minutes just to completely dry. And I'm going to move over to this piece. So this piece I painted in Grateful Dead, which is from the CC Restyled Remix Collection. And it's funny, this color is really funny because if you look at it on its own, like it is right now, it looks purple. But if you put it next to another color in the line, it's clearly gray, but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's a really cool purple. It's almost like an eggplanty purple. So what I want to do right now is, so I painted, um, I did this stencil in Little Black Dress. That's a, that's a metallic color from Pink Couture. And I did the legs in French Gold. So the legs are a little bit bright for me. So I want to use Black Chiffon as a glaze on the legs. Normally, I would just brush the glaze on and wipe it back, but I think that these are so bright that I want to sort of dab it on and dab it off. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so um, I'm going to shake this up. And I'm going to use a stencil brush to apply it. And I'm not doing it to the main piece. I'm just going to do it over these gold legs. I just want it to be, no, I don't want to say dull. I just want to give it a little bit of um, an older look. Now there's two of these, but I'm just going to do one tonight. Okay. So I'm using just an old stencil brush. And I'm just going to start dabbing it on. Now normally I would brush it on with a regular brush. And you don't need to use a tremendous amount of this. It goes pretty far. Now you're going to wipe that back? I'm going to sort of dab it back. So I'm kind of just dabbing this on like I would, like I would stencil when you can show the back of a piece. Well, and sometimes you can even Google the name, you know? Yeah. And you get some history of the company and all the rest of that. see that that is very easy to do. I didn't use very much. You can see the difference between the two. Yeah. I think also for me, I really wanted to tie the black in. Um, I have the hardware. Oh, I'll show you. It's the... a great stencil too. Oh God, I love the stencil. I'll show you the hardware. I have it in the drawer. So this is the hardware. Kevin cleaned it. And this is the original hardware. So I did the gold because of the hardware, 
But then I felt like it's just a little too cold. Crisp. It's a little too crisp. So I'm gonna take this um, rag and it's sort of like a terry cloth. And I'm gonna just kind of make a little ball out of it. So let's see. So I don't want to just wipe this off because I want to have sort of an antique to look. That's really what I'm trying to create. You're um, adding patina. I'm adding patina. So I don't know if you can get close enough to see. And because I'm using this little towel thing, it's giving, it's also creating a little bit of texture. Now you could almost, if you wanted to, leave it like that and just let it dry. Now it would take a longer time, but to me that's a little bit too much. I like to, I like to get most of that off. But I do like, I do really like the pattern that the, the cloth is creating. Now these, this is a, this is a water-based glaze. So I can just throw this rag right in my dish, in my, I was gonna say dishwasher. That would be funny. You can do that, but I don't know how it's gonna work. Right into my washing machine. And it'll, it'll clean it off. Rather than, you know, if I was using an oil-based product, I wouldn't wanna do that. So that's pretty much it. It mm -hmm. really, if you look at the, now- I got them both in there. Okay. So you can, yeah, it, it just knocks it down a little bit. Yeah. Now, if you love, if you really love the shiny, then, you know, you'd leave it. But I feel like because I have the black with the stencil that, and, and the fact that these are probably mid, mid century, um, I like the black. I think it ties it in a little bit, but let me, let me know what you think. I'm curious. Okay, so now I'm gonna move back here and I'm going to um, put my lids back on my feet. Why would you do that? My messy lids. All right, so here we are. We're back to this piece. So this is the piece that we painted in Peacock and I just did some sort of random highlighting in gold and, and copper metallic sort of to mimic the look of the wood underneath so when i was playing with this yesterday um i i like to make these boards if you've watched us before you know that i'm a fan of trying things out ahead of time if i can so um i did some copper and some gold and i was even going to try some red but that you could see I didn't like that. Kevin's making a face. No. <laughs> so then I wanted to try glaze. So over here, this is the darkest, and that one is Amber Honey. This one. The one in the middle is Light Brown Sugar. And this one is Champagne. Considering our upholstery on the seat, we decided to go with champagne. So we're gonna go with this one. It's a little bit metallic-y, and I like that. All right, 
So here's my champagne, and I'm gonna stir it up. Isn't that gorgeous? Now it is gonna lighten up the um, peacock, but I'm okay with that. So I need a little brush. I'll use this brush. So this is water-based, so I'm just gonna use this brush to apply it. Now you're gonna wipe it back? Yeah. Yeah. So, th so I'm gonna just brush it on. And I don't need a tremendous amount of this. See, look how little is on this brush. A little bit is gonna go a long way. How long can you wait to wipe off the glaze before it's too late? Well, in a minute I'm gonna try the top and just see how we're doing. If it seems like it's, cause it dries, I mean, it, it takes longer to dry than the paint, but you can't just like wipe it back forever. Now it is water-based. So if I felt like it dried too much, I could always like spritz my rag. I like to use um, t-shirts when I do this method. So for that method over there, when I dabbed, cause I'm creating some texture when I did that, I used like a little terry cloth rag. You guys have seen these everywhere. You get them in a hardware store in a bag. These are just Kevin's undershirts. You get them in Kevin's undershirt drawer. So yeah, I don't wanna wait too long. Now I can feel that um, you're waiting too long. No, I didn't wait too long. Okay. But I could have. Now, whatever type of um, rag you use for this, you want it, you want it to be lint-free. Because if it wasn't lint-free, I'd have lint all over the place. Because the, the glaze is definitely tacky. And you're gonna wipe back as much or as little as you want. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. But isn't that pretty? I really like that. So if, if I was glazing a big piece of furniture, I would definitely work in sections. So I'm glazing a very small piece here and I'm still working in sections. But again, I could always take some water and wipe it back a little bit if I, if I overdid it or um, I waited too, too long. You don't need a really heavy, loopy, gloppy coat. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't put a very heavy coat. What you could do though is you could just put a very slight bit of glaze, sort of like a dry brushed glaze, and then leave it and not and not wipe it back. You could do that for sure. Something else that you can do with glaze is use Paint Couture's clear glaze and mix your own glaze, which we've actually done before on the live, and that's really cool and it's limitless what you can do with glaze. We've mixed, we've mixed glazes together. So um, I've added a little zinc in with other glazes. And you certainly could mix champagne in if you wanted to add a little bit of a metallic look to another glaze. Now, if you have a piece that has a lot of detail, you wanna make sure that you get the glaze all in those details. And then you might want to leave some glaze in those details. So take a minute and go through and just look at edges and things like that. And just make sure that you have all those spots because it's, it, it's going to look funny when it dries. It's going to dry like a big drip. And it's going to look like paint dripped. So you want to make sure you get all those spots. So just like take a walk around it slow to, um, to sand those out later on. Okay. Don't be afraid. What? Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it pretty looks good. good. Mm -hmm. I think that the um, the champagne glaze really made it go more a little bit more with the this mm -hmm. with ties the it to the seat a little bit. It does. It does. And I like the way it looks back here. You could actually see the. Um, I didn't wipe it back all that much, and I like that. Um, if you're watching this later, please let us know and. Um, ask any questions that you might have in the comments. We also would love to know what you think. If you are looking for a Paint Couture retailer near you, go to the Paint Couture website, paintcouture.com. If you think anybody would benefit from what we did tonight, please feel free to share this on your own Facebook page. Share, sprinkle, whatever you want to call it. Right, honey? Yeah. Threaten him to watch. Yeah. Yeah, call and say, watch this. You gotta, you have got to watch. All right, guys, so have a wonderful night. We're always appreciative that you took the time to spend with us. And we'll see you next week. Take care, everybody.